Harriet Powers was born in rural Georgia, outside of the town of Athens in 1837. She was born as an enslaved girl child. One thing we think we know about her is that she spun cotton for her enslaver, as did her mother. So Harriet Powers, like many other girls and young women who were held in captivity, became familiar with the process of creating thread and creating cloth. She was also a person who experienced the Civil War and the incredibly chaotic, confusing, but briefly hopeful moment of the emancipation period. We are so fortunate today to have a few remaining artifacts that tell us about Harriet Power's life. This photograph that we're looking at is one of those artifacts. She has clearly dressed for the occasion and she has placed on top of the dress this incredible apron, which we can presume that she herself fashioned because the apron includes the same kinds of imagery and symbols that Harriet Powers uses over and over again on her surviving quilts. She is showing her work off by wearing that apron. There are so many facets to Harriet Powers as a person and as an artist and to the surviving quilts that we have that she made. One of those elements of her work, which is very clear, is that Harriet Powers was a deeply religious person. Both of her surviving quilts visualize events and stories from the Christian Bible. We see Harriet Powers showing us the creation of the world. We see her showing us God's regular, continual presence. We also see trauma, trouble, we see suffering, we even see chaos, I think. And this connects us back to Harriet Power's own life. And this is a moment where the stories of the Bible, the stories of intense challenge and trial and struggle, and then redemption, reflect the stories of Harriet Power's own life and the lives of African Americans who were held as captives. They experienced continual disruption, continual threats of violence. They experienced events that were beyond their control. And who was their company? Who was their supporter? Who was their helper throughout these events? It seems that Harry Powers is saying, God, that God was always present despite and amid the chaos. One of the quilt squares that stands out is square eight, in which she represents a night of falling stars, or the Leonid meteor shower of 1833. This was a phenomenal occurrence. On this night, over 100,000 star-like elements appeared to be falling from the sky. People were terrified, and many thought that it was Judgment Day. They theorized that God was bringing the world to its conclusion, to its close. And some enslavers actually worried that perhaps it was their sin of holding people as property that was leading to this judgment moment. One of the things that is so incredible about this square is Harriet Powers was born in 1837. This event occurred in 1833 and yet she recalled the month, she recalled the year because of course she had heard the story and like an oral historian she recorded it. She didn't have a tape recorder and perhaps she didn't have a piece of paper but she had fabric she had cloth, she had a needle, she had thread, she even had a sewing machine by this time in her life. And she wrote that story down in a sense 
by sewing it onto this quilt. This visual representation of that moment created by an African-American woman artist. 